In online freelancing, the number one and top most question is how do I get my first job or first client, right? But what is the second hottest question? I think most of you will agree that the second hottest question is how do I get my money? In the Upwork platform, there are several methods available to get my earnings. However, what is the best method to get my money? How long does it take for the funds to arrive at my bank? Which method is fastest? Which method has the least fees and charges? And which method is most convenient? To answer these burning questions, we will show you a complete walkthrough of the three most common methods used by freelancers to withdraw their funds from Upwork. The three withdrawal methods we will be going through are first, Upwork to local bank, second, Upwork to PayPal, then to local bank, and third, Upwork to Payoneer, then to local bank. If you're not using the Upwork platform for your freelance work, this guide can still be useful for you since normally other freelancing platforms use almost the same type of withdrawal methods. By the way, I'm in the Philippines. The local bank I'll be using in these examples is Bank of the Philippine Islands, and so I will be getting my funds in Philippine Peso. You may use any local bank, but incoming remittance fees and charges may differ, so make sure you check on that first. Pending funds for hourly contracts normally become available at 8 a.m. on Wednesdays, Philippine Standard Time. This topic is broken into three episodes. In the previous episode, we walked you through the first method, which is withdrawal from Upwork to local bank. To watch the first episode, click on the I button on the upper right of the screen. On this episode, we will walk you through the second method, which is transferring your earnings from Upwork to PayPal, then to your local bank account. Again, this is a complete walkthrough, so we will be showing you every step, every transaction, every notification, every email we get, and of course, the actual money that arrives in my bank account. Of course, we will cut the waiting time in this presentation. So time check, it is 8.04 a.m. Wednesday, April 5, Philippine Standard Time. Take note that this method involves two transfers. First, from Upwork to PayPal, and second, from PayPal to your local bank. So first, we log into Upwork. And again, I normally go to Reports, then Overview, then Available Funds, and click on the Get Paid Now button. On the Get Paid Now page, you'll see the different payment methods available to you. This depends on what you have set up on your account. And again, in my case, I have the option to transfer my earnings to Payoneer, PayPal, or bank account. Again, if you need help with adding different payment methods, check out the help section of Upwork where you can find the step-by-step -step instructions. In this episode, we will do a withdrawal to my PayPal account. For the purpose of this walkthrough, I will transfer $150 to my PayPal. Upwork charges a service fee of $2 for this type of withdrawal method. And so $148 will be the amount forwarded to my PayPal account. Let's click on Get Paid Now. And the confirmation page comes up next. After I click on done, I get a notification about the request for withdrawal on the upper right. Going back to my mailbox, I also received an email notification about the withdrawal request right away. And I also get an email notification from PayPal immediately saying that I received $148 from Upwork real time. So let's now log into my PayPal account and check my balance. As we can see here, $148 is already in my account. Note that the amount that came in is $148, the same amount forwarded by Upwork. No deductions. Also, note that the money that came in from Upwork is in US dollars. It is up to you if you want to convert this first from US dollars to Philippine peso, or if you simply transfer the US dollar amount to your local bank, PayPal will convert using the prevailing exchange rate automatically anyway, which is what I will do now. Let's click on Withdraw Funds. On the Withdraw Funds page, 
I have the option to select which available funds I want to get the money from. In my case, I have US dollar funds and peso funds available. I will select the US dollar funds which has the 148 US dollars I transferred from Upwork. And now I will withdraw 148 US dollars to my local bank account. Note that my local bank account is automatically showing here because it is the only option set up in my PayPal account that I can use for withdrawing money. If you have multiple bank accounts or a Visa card set up, you will have the option to choose. It also says here that the turnaround time is usually two to four business days, but normally the money arrives sooner at my local bank. Let's click on continue. Next, we see the review page. As you can see on this page, the exchange rate is shown real time, which is 48 pesos 0.759906 per US dollar. The converted amount will be 7,216 pesos and 46 centavos. You have the option to change the amount or not continue if you don't want to proceed. If you think that the exchange rate is too low, then you have the option not to continue. Take note that if you are transferring an amount lower than 7,000 pesos to your local bank, PayPal will charge a 50 peso service fee. To proceed, I will click on the withdraw button and the next page will show us the confirmation page with the details of the transaction. If we go back to my wallet and then to the activity tab, we'll see here the withdrawal transaction that I just did amounting 7,216 pesos and 46 centavos. And if I go back to my inbox, I also received an email notification from PayPal about the withdrawal transaction I just did. It is also mentioned on this email that I should see the money in my bank account by April 10, 2017. But normally, again, it arrives sooner. All I need to do now is wait for the money to appear in my bank account. Okay, time check. It is now Friday, April 7, 5.16 a.m. If you notice, this is the same day and time I checked my bank balance on the previous episode. That's because I also did this transfer on the same day as the direct local transfer from Upwork. Upon checking my bank account, the local funds transfer and payable funds arrived at the same time. Let's check the transaction history for the amount we transferred from PayPal. If we scroll down to April 6, we see an e-link payment remittance amounting 7,066 pesos and 46 centavos. If you have noticed, the amount received is lesser than what PayPal forwarded. PayPal sent 7,216 pesos and 46 cents, but 7,066 pesos and 46 centavos arrived. Why is that? That's because my bank deducted an incoming remittance fee of 150 Philippine peso. Again, my bank is BPI, so if you are using a different bank, the incoming remittance fee may differ or no remittance fee at all. So make sure you do your research. So how long did it take? Remember, I requested this withdrawal on April 5, 8.04 a.m. Wednesday from Upwork, and based on the transaction history of my bank account, the money arrived on April 6, Thursday. In my experience, normally the money arrives Thursday night when I check via the BPI mobile app, but the transaction history becomes updated only after the nightly system refresh of the BPI website. So roughly, it also takes around one and a half to two days just like the direct local transfer method. Again, all I have to do now is grab my ATM card and withdraw some cash. So what are the pros and cons of the second method, which is withdrawal from Upwork to PayPal, then to local bank? First, it involves two transfers. So it is not straightforward unlike the direct to local bank method. So it might be less convenient for some people. 
The dollar funds get converted to Philippine Peso in the process, just like the first method. The turnaround time is normally around one and a half to two days, like the first method, which is not bad. Another downside with this method is the service charge by Upwork for the withdrawal to PayPal, which is two US dollars compared to 99 cents in the direct local transfer. Another downside with this method is the incoming remittance fee of 150 pesos deducted by the local bank. Some banks may have a different fee or no fee at all, so do your research. Also, if you're transferring an amount lower than 7,000 pesos from PayPal, there is a service charge of 50 pesos. In my observation, the PayPal method is the method of choice by people who prefer to get their cash via PayPal in cashers. Lastly, one really good advantage with using the PayPal method is we can see the exchange rate before completing the withdrawal transaction, which gives us the option not to proceed in case we think that the exchange rate is too low. So again, each withdrawal method has its advantages and disadvantages. So make sure you do your research and use the method that works best for you. For the fees and exchange rates comparison, I will have to discuss it in a separate episode because it will involve collecting and comparing exchange rate data and service fees with the other withdrawal methods. This will tell us which method involves the lowest fees or in other words yields the highest amount ending up in your bank account. I will provide a link as soon as I have the video published. I would also recommend that you actually set up several different payment methods in your Upwork account so you can try out for yourself which is most convenient and most cost effective. And this way, you will also have a backup payment method in case one of them is having a problem. On the next episode of this freelance series, we will walk you through the third method, which is withdrawal from Upwork to Payoneer, then to local bank account. Ooh,